This is an examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast. The Hidden Killers Podcast. With Tony Bruschi. We are discussing a case that is <laughs> fluid, to say the least. So if you're listening to this and things have changed, that's how fluid it is. We're talking about the Rudy Farias case. A case that's... I don't even know the words to describe it. it it's so strange, bizarre, uh, heart-wrenching if the allegations in this are, in fact, true. Joining me to discuss it is Hitting Killers contributor and former FBI special agent Jennifer Coffendaffer. I don't even know where to begin on this, so I'm just going to ask you, what are your thoughts thus far? I think it's a huge fraud. Yeah. And I think that the Janie, uh, Mama Janie is going to be held uh, with some charges against her. I really do. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know the initial police report. It sounds might be accurate. He disappears one day. The next day she files the police report, which is, you know, 24 hours makes a lot of sense. But the next day he's back. Yeah. And but what does she do, do in furtherance of that? She does multiple. My understanding is I, I've looked at them, the GoFundMes, but I think there were multiple other areas of, of raising revenue and money. Uh, that billboard was erected, uh, which isn't cheap. We don't know whether that was donated or how that came to be about. We know she was passing out flyers, speaking with media, keeping this whole ruse alive. Um, but they're going to have to trace the money. How much money did she get and what was the money meant for and what was it used for that? I think they're going to find a very good trail and be able to prove that she committed a fraud. Um, secondarily, police reports or um, you know, false information she gave to the police. According to the police, she did give false information about identification, but so did Rudy, mm -hmm. according to the police. From that press conference, mm -hmm. Tony, I don't know if you've watched it. I, I watched did. it three times yeah. with my jaw dropping. I, I felt like I was in a movie scene. I just want to do the sidestep um, from uh, from a movie. Uh, it was so talking out of both sides of their mouth, very dominating by this chief, not letting his detective just talk about the case. He kept cutting him off. and yeah jumping in it was odd to me too that they had a press conference about budgets and <laughs> dash cams intertwined in a very important case about possible incest and abuse of another human yeah. it was just crazy it, it didn't make any sense i was wondering if i was on the correct video when i started watching it because the first thing i saw was like <laughs> police body cam like is this this kid like somebody posted the wrong video here and then i like oh no this is the right thing uh it, it was a baffling press conference uh it, and you when you mix that also with what quinnell x said in in his press conference the advocate that was sitting there supposedly at the same time with the police officers uh as as an advocate for rudy these were completely conflicting stories that the police said happened versus what he said happened. I, I don't really see a reason for either of them to be making anything up, but why and how could these two things be so dramatically different? Well, I noticed the chief again came in and sort of cut off the conversation and said words to the effect of, uh, you'll see it in a police report. Mm-hmm. That's that's how it struck me is, you know, we we will say what happened in a police report. I wouldn't be surprised if that police report doesn't reflect uh, at least some of what um, Cornell X said. I, I, I just felt it was very. I don't know, not up front or or in terms of what the police said, mm -hmm. the lieutenant, I agree with you said he never heard those allegations that Quanell was saying, but it seemed to me that they were off in terms of really the talk of incest. And I even wondered if they know that statute. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, well, even from what Quanell said, we haven't heard the parameter of that statute discussed, which it mu there must be intercourse or a deviant sexual 
uh, act. Yeah. So maybe the police, they are thinking, you heard him say, well, I'm trained to listen for a PC. Yeah. I thought that was a very interesting statement. Um, you also heard, and this is multiple accounts, that they handcuffed the mom. Mm-hmm. So what happened uh, between the interview, the handcuffing, uh, the, you know, what happened with the talk with the DA? Is the DA saying, listen, I want more and let's just charge it all at one time? Mm-hmm. I think we're going to see charges, Tony, but I think it's going to take a while. Do you think they're sitting there going, you know, we, we could make an arrest right now, but based on all the, all the statutes and how long we could hold her, she's going to be out by the weekend or something. And we need something stronger to keep her in custody. I mean, these are very strong allegations that Rudy made with Quan X and supposedly in front of the officers for then this this man to be going back with the mom by choice. It just seems very, very bizarre. Granted, he is 25. He could leave at any time he wants. But from what we understand, it seems like there's a lot of abuse that went on here. And when someone is abused to that level, he may not even be aware or have the ability to to leave or get away in any sort of effective way, considering you know, he was found in front of a church, uh, you know, for several days, uh, not really knowing what to do. Right. You know, there's so much, too, that's come out. I mean, supposedly he took her car and crashed mm-hmm. it, and that's why he was so bruised and bloodied. Um, then there, there supposedly, I just read this late last night, he's actually staying with a friend. Okay. And uh, I think Quanell X verified that. And, and also that the mom uh, took off with another individual. Um, it, it is a little sketchy. There's so many reports and it's very fluid too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One minute, you know, we know Rudy left with the mom, but then the next moment he's with a friend. So, you know, I hope Quanell X, quite frankly, stays on top of this mm-hmm. um, for the sake of Rudy. Uh, he seems to be a true advocate for him. Mm-hmm. He got called, as you know, from the mom. Yeah. Um, so it seemed like he went there open-minded and was actually going to advocate for the mom in terms of protecting her from the police. Yeah. And once he heard all the circumstances, his viewpoint changed. And um, so I'm hoping he stays on it, but it's a wacky case. I think we'll see charges for fraud and maybe false reporting later. I also wonder if they're going to go after uh, Rudy for false reporting. We'll see. Yeah, I'm wondering about that. I was trying to piece this together in my mind and try and figure, well, is there some sort of scheme here going on with both of them? At this point, I don't see how both would benefit in any way, shape or form. But I, I do wonder how much Rudy was involved in this and and competent uh, in in this scheme, if you will, uh, or if he was just so brainwashed that he went along with whatever mom said uh, for fear of what the repercussions could possibly be. You know, from what we know, and we know a lot from all the relatives, Mm -hmm. these aunts, um, nieces, uh, Quanell X, neighbors, et cetera, et cetera. And I just, it doesn't seem like Rudy was in any way complicit. Mm -hmm. Now, was he urged to go along? Was he manipulated by his mom? Uh, was he controlled, in fact, by his mom? I mean, this is a 25-year-old man. I wonder if he even has a driver's license. Did he even finish high school? Um, has he even, <laughs> you know, has he ever had a job? Yeah. I mean, it seems like he is controlled and completely, um, you know, manipulated by his mom. And again, that's based on all this reporting from their family. Mm -hmm. And from what we see, we see a guy that's not like your normal 25-year-old driving a truck in Texas, holding down a job, maybe married with kids. This is really strange. It makes me wonder where he's at in terms of uh, IQ, intelligence, maturity, if he's that of a 25-year-old or if he very much is that of uh, a 10-year-old, a 14-year-old, and, and what sort of, is there disabilities there? Are there 
uh, some sort of learning uh, disabilities that he's suffered with his whole life and his mother was taking advantage of that. Or or drug manipulation. I mean, yeah. that's right. That's what they're saying, uh, you know, that she controlled him in that in that way. It's mm -hmm. it's disturbing. If I had to use one word, that entire case is so disturbing that a mother would want to do anything other than to see their child succeed and to raise them to be contributing wonderful adults mm -hmm. to achieve everything they can instead of using them for money, <laughs> you know, secreting them in a yeah. home, having them lie, teaching them that it's okay to tell the police, uh, you know, non-truthful information. Uh, the whole thing is just makes me uh, feel dirty every yeah, time I, mean, I watch one of the parts of this story. I just want to brush off and say, wow. What what comes to mind for me is the Dee Dee Blanchard uh, case in Springfield, Missouri, uh, where it was a Munchausen by proxy, where mm -hmm. she convinced her daughter that you know she was disabled, actually had surgeries, and and really put her daughter through hell to the point where she actually ended up killing her daughter. Um, but I, I'm just wondering how much of that may be at play here as well. It could be, but it it seems. I mean, I could see that as being part of it. But to me, I see somebody, it's all about money Yep. using that GoFundMe. But, but I agree also the sympathy piece of it. She seemed to soak up. You're locked into the Hidden Killers podcast. Want more? Start binging on all of our true crime podcasts right now through Apple Podcasts and get an ad-free experience when you sign up to be a True Crime Today Premium Plus member exclusively on Apple Podcasts. More of the Hidden Killers podcast dropping soon. Press subscribe now.